welcome back to another ranty type video type thingy madu hickey and before i get this started i just want to say that if you're offended by my opinion then you should stop watching now or you you might get you might get offended so getting right into this i'm just going to state my opinion and it is that i don't think that the fat acceptance movement which is what i'm talking about is okay in extreme circumstances when the person's weight is potentially detrimental to their health so if someone is excessively overweight then i don't think that they should be mentally reaching to accept their unhealthy body weights because it's unhealthy and as obesity is a rising issue with so many first world countries example canada us australia and britain a lot of these countries are dealing with really bad problems with obesity especially in the united states and obesity has proven to lead to very serious health issues and for the people that are obese accepting their body while they're obese is wrong in my mind because of the fact that it is so unhealthy and i know i just reiterated myself but ignore that <laughs> but i am completely for anyone who's reaching to better accept who they are and accepting their body because i really honestly envy anyone that has learned to do so and has reached a point where nothing really can break their confidence but doing so when you're excessively overweight is wrong to me but if you're on a weight loss journey or are slowly working to become more healthy and working on gains it's perfectly fine to actually support this type of ideal and something that comes and definitely something that comes with better physical health is better mental health so if you are healthier physically, you actually are healthier mentally is usually what happens because there is a lot of scientific research put into that connect the two of those things. Another prime example where I don't quite fit into the line, this doesn't quite fit into the line, is that eating disorders, many of the people with an eating disorder in, in which they overeat, so they eat kind of to binge, all, but they're always kind of binging and it's kind of caused them to be extremely overweight and unhealthy and are being told that it's okay to accept their body and to continue eating and that it's it's fine to do that and that should be like perfectly fine it's wrong because you wouldn't be telling someone who has an opposite eating disorder of that like anorexia bulimia or binging and purging that it's perfectly fine that their body and they should accept it for it what it is as a really thin unhealthy body it's it's the same thing and it's wrong both ways and i don't quite understand when you can support someone who is excessively obese trying to accept themselves as obese and not doing anything to change their weight and then trying to tell someone who's anorexic that they should stay the same and not get better because it is a mental illness illness on both sides and it's not right and it's not fair to those people to be able to think that and have that ideal in their head but uh, along with that i know a lot of people be like oh my god bleh, and have a big problem with that i'm not saying that everyone in the world needs these stick thing figures of these runway models because quite frankly most people aren't built like that it's actually quite the minority that are built like that most people really aren't and another thing is that i don't think that every single person that is obese or that is o overweight has a eating disorder of like overeating disorder a lot of problems with people just being overweight is the type of work that's in the world right now and it's a very big problem because people aren't getting the exercise they need because they're so focused on sitting in desk jobs and they don't have time and like there's so many so many things that make people overweight and, um, and I'm not saying that every single person that's overweight is some big old fatty that eats a bunch of food all the time I'm definitely not saying that because that that's quite frankly wrong and I'm not saying that every single person needs to have a specific BMI that fits into the exact scale of underweight to average if it's slightly over that but you're still perfectly healthy or if it's a little bit more than slightly over that and you're still perfectly healthy and there's no no health problems in your line of sight and you're staying that weight then that's perfectly fine because accepting who you are is amazing but I don't think that people that are excessively overweight to the point where it is healthy and if they stay that weight for 10 years down the line that they could have something like diabetes or something very very serious like that so i really hope that nobody <laughs> nobody that is excessively overweight that gains this type of ideal does this because it's not fair to them to think that that's okay when it's really not because it is unhealthy and it's not it's not right <laughs> for them to to stay unhealthy and think it's okay and i'm not saying that shame on you and you should fix yourself and blah 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 because I know it's a much harder harder thing to say oh you should be healthy when you're 350 pounds and it's a lot of weight to lose because it's a lot of work it's a lot of mental energy and it's a lot of physical energy and I'm not saying that that is something that is completely like non-existent because it is very very difficult but if you are excessively overweight and you're really really unhealthily overweight then you shouldn't be learning to accept your body as it is overweight if you're learning to accept yourself as you uh, gain slowly and lose the weight 
and um, become more healthy physically and mentally, then it is perfectly fine. Despite all my rambling, my main point through all of this is that I disagree, disagree with all the people that are severely un unhealthily overweight spreading the ideal that it is okay to be that weight and it's quite frankly it shouldn't be okay because it's unhealthy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this random video with me ranting about some random things. Hopefully I didn't offend anybody. If I did, I am so sorry. I tried to kind of sugarcoat things a little bit so that it didn't seem like I'm being a total jerk, but I hope I, I, hope I succeeded. Uh, and yeah, so definitely I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys like these types of videos where I kind of talk more about controversial-ish topics, then comment that down below because I'd really like to know if you guys like this or anything like that. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to quack a like and subscribe to come a duckling today and comment down below panda if you guys watched the very end of the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!